Welcome to Factorio Megabase in a Book. My name is Nina Oss and we are going to continue on our design here. And every episode of this series will be focused on one design. And as I saw one comment, I was like, oh, this base is so boring. It's just square and the same designs. And yes, I would say, yes, it is boring in that regard. But that is how you build structure. You have to have something that is repeatable. So I make these crisp designs. That is my objective making these crisp designs that we've been looking at. And then the beauty of building a megabase is that you can stamp them down and then it's all about having the tools to do that. So the next step on our tier to transition into megabase, we've now made the smelting of copper, iron and steel outsourced from the base and scaled up much higher than what we could do in our starter base. And the next thing will now be replacing the green circuits here. And then later on, we can replace the red circuits if we feel so inclined and so on and so forth. Any other things that we want to replace, but it's primarily the greens and then the reds. And then we should be pretty good on the on these cases. And then we can start working on some of the other things such as science and that that kind of thing. Right. With that being said, you, I want to start by before we dive into the greens, I want to start talking a bit about the state changes I made to the train system, the resources and mods, because I want you to catch up. And if you're playing along, then, yeah, there's a lot of, of leap between the previous episode and this episode. And well, if you're a patron supporter, feel free to download the map so you can copy paste and take whatever you need or just play along from there. But if you are uh, sort of playing along from the videos, then there is a lot of things that I've changed. The first thing is regarding trains is that I previously had signals at the edges of the city blocks. And of course, that was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, it was. If I had signals here, that actually meant that trains could come out here and then get stuck at a signal here, leaving sort of its ass hanging into the intersection, meaning that it could jam and it would jam as we get more. Right now, it would not be a problem. So what I've done is I have set the the signals here in the middle. That means the space between this intersection and these signals and that one. So what you can also see is that I've deliberately done it so that hmm, it fits like this. I can't do it so it fits with both sides, but it'll fit to one side. That's just the way it is. Oh, no. Did you see that? I've forgotten to build that. Let's send our green ones over there. Just <laughs> that's a big thing. So we've also landfilled this area as we started last time. Landfilling is super boring. Uh, so that's one thing to remove the signals, move them to mid block instead of edge block. That is a really cool thing. Then I've uh, taken this supply line here and connected it down here to our production grid. So that it's more connected. I have removed this line from here. That was a vertical line that was just connecting. I don't really need to have a line that's connecting here because there are so many other lines connecting that, yeah, if you want to go from here to here for whatever reason, or basically more from here and back, the only thing is like oil, then just take one of these lines and that should be fine, leaving us more room to build the green circuits, which we will. That also means that I had to remove some copper. This one and that one were copper, I, copper locations I had tapped before. I might add this one as well, but this one needs to be freed up so we can build our our green circuits here. This is one of the things about this grid is that I don't want to, I, I have to ignore the fact that there's lots of oil here, lots of copper here. I just pave over it because I need my, my grid structure in place. As a result of that, the removing these two, I've added three over here instead. These are enabled and these two are disabled still because they are sort of the best locations and I want to burn through as much as possible this because I might use this later on. Likewise, we also have added a couple of copper locations or it's a couple of iron locations because I want to scale that up. Uh, they are there and uh, that one as well. We added some stone, but then I realized that, oh, I'm not going to bring stone in here. So that's just going to be ready for when we make the stone bricks for the purple signs. So that's going to be idle for a very long time. Also doesn't have trains. I put this one in here just to supplement the very, very dead one up here. So, oh, wow, that's very unlighted. So that should catch you up uh, on uh, what I've done between sessions. And that means we can start working here. One of the things that I hope I can show you. Ah, no, not unfortunately not. I wanted to show you. Oh, this I can actually show you this. This is going to be a problem. So that one was stuck here at the unloading location, which meant that it was actually blocking the next train from coming in. And if it gets stuck here at an unloading location for too long, then the chests actually run out and you actually have a even though you have enough resources in the grid you don't have enough you don't have enough because the trains can't 
don't have a loading location available it's because they stop at the unloading before they go to the loading. It'll probably be happen again here. And there is a reason. This means that if you look at it from a supply chain perspective, you must make sure that you have enough mi enough mining to so fully, su fully supply the smelting and you have enough smelting to fully supply the next one. So always make sure that with the first parts of the, your supply chain are never going to be the bottleneck. That's really important. So what we want to do in case of this, we have one, two, three, and potentially four or five. We have tons of these, but let's say we have three active. I want to have like a, a grid here. You can see I only have four of these trains. That's definitely not enough. Definitely not enough. Uh, let's actually go, that one is parked. So let's go to that one, copy. I have now four and I have six trains. So what if I do one, two, three, four, send these off. That means for every loading station, I will have for, okay. For every mining station, I will have three trains. I think that's good because I want those to be stuck there. One, two, and the other ones are not really going until they sort of clear the path here. And that one's kind of clear here. That signal is red. Yeah, it could just be not red until. <laughs> okay, so that's because it has to clear this one. Okay, we can we can put something in here. And one more at this location. And then I can do that one. So these, you can see, I just added five more trains. And despite the fact that I added five more trains, they all went out because I do have enough. Let's uh, have a look at the train overlay here. I now have nine of these corresponding to the fact that I have three pickup locations. That should be good. Let's look at the iron part as well. Uh, the iron part, the iron ore, how many iron ore locations do I have? The easiest way to do this is 10. So that means I should have 15 of these trains and I only have six. So yeah, we also have a huge undersupply of this and that will be are we getting there okay yep we are let's find one of those uh, that's not unloading 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 where are you you're here i'll take that one i want them to be stuck here with destination full and i now i need 15 of these and we're gonna get this slowly slowly brought in there and probably was once you do that i am not going to be able to send that out. So we had six in previously and now I'm adding another five. So we are up to 11, which is pretty good, <clears throat> but it's not enough. I don't even think I have enough of these trains, but that's, uh, that is beside the point. We will be doing this and we can always come back later, but I'd like to get it to all the 15 here. Well, at least we have 11 and we wanted 15 for iron. And the last train is going out and I can then put it in here and unlikely that these will. Yeah. Okay. Some of them are not supported, but that's actually fine. The fact that it's not the locomotives. Cool. Right. So what we want to do in uh, this case now, I am going to hitch a ride on a train, a building train while we wait for the tracks to, or while we wait for the trains to accumulate, then uh, we can go out here. Our hub is working just fine. And we're going to hit a ride on the builder train. The builder train is still useful because it'll, well, it'll bring me out to where I need to go, where we can start doing the design for the green circuits. Now I've added another, another mod for which you will be seeing here. I think I've mentioned it, but I don't think I've uh, actually uh, installed it. I have just, just now installed it. I use it on Twitch and it's really nice. So basically once you do this, normally you would send it to a temporary one. I would jump out and if it could, it would start going back to that one. Obviously it can't do that, but now it instead switches to manual. So if you put a temporary stop, it'll switch to manual. It's super useful when you're driving a lot of these trains using the manual stops to, to sort of get to a design a location here. Right. I have already planned that I'm going to need three blocks for this. The reason is that this one here is barely able to, basically it says one block for the production and one block for the stations and the stacking. There's no way that I can put an extra station in here, an extra loading on loading. I'm going to need two inputs, iron and copper, and then I'll put the green circuit. So that is not going to happen. So I'm going to have one with stackers, one with locomotives and 
Okay, let's look at it here. One with stackers, one with stations, and one with production. It's kind of silly how much space you need for uh, for things aside from the production. So I'm going to start by me by looking at the production because that's what defines it. And I'm going to go to my masterclass blueprints. That is how it works. Uh, there is no reason for me to redesign something that's already working brilliantly. And we can module something. This is green, reds. This is greens. I'm going to take it and we're going to put it here. So I want to place it. I don't know. I don't think I want to actually. I think I want to just design it here. So basically we say this is one. And if I look at the quantities here, this is producing exactly one full belt outbound. That's super important. And it's like 32 iron and 34 copper inbound. So if we look at this one, ah, crap. Well, I'm going to have to do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How absolutely wonderful. We can put in eight of those. That's going to be brilliant. That is going to be eight lanes in of each of the two different materials and then eight lanes out of green circuits. That's brilliant. Now, the next part is we're going to have stations. So we're going to have stations coming up here. I'll have my unloading station plus unloading station, iron and copper. And then down here we'll have that. So let's start by designing, sort of uh, figuring out how much space we need for the station. We're going to say that you can actually get all the way over here with your station and you can get all the way down, all the way down even further though. Oh, never mind. All the way down there with your exit. We also have to remember that there has to be some way for refueling as well, which is, uh, well, it's something we'll have to figure out. Oh, that dirt sound. And we're going to go from this side. And I'm going to have to figure out, oh, yeah, okay, dirt. Somehow doing this. Mm. I don't want to build it. This is the earliest I could branch it, but I think that's, I don't like that. I, I'd like to have it sort of get into the block first. That seems reasonable, right? It could even be more reasonable to do that and, and see. Here. There. So that's the exit. Now the entrance though. I'm going to have some stackers. I think I'll just remove this for now. Let's start by having a, an unloading station. We do have an unloading station. This is going to be an unloading station. So let's uh, just take that and copy that. I think we'll start it from here. So Something like this, all right? And, and some of this will just probably not work. I am going to get that one. And then here, let's start pruning some of this crap here that is not needed or it's just inconsistent. Okay, so <clears throat> this will be our design for now of an unloader. But it's going to need to have more space for the unloading. So I think I need to take this one down. That's okay. I can copy this. Oh, hold on. I think it should. Uh, should I have this one even? I think that has to be like a straight line. Yeah. And. Oops. There. And that one. Because I need a light. Cool. So copy this part. Let's remove this because I'm going to be shuffling it around just to find out where the best space is. I think this is too far, too far north. Right. So what I need is I need. I guess I want to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I need to figure out how close I want them together. Okay, let's go back with this, like this. And then see, okay, if I have my station, that would be okay location, right? We can take this out a bit and then basically go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get a, a, a something, one of these. And that has to be 
Like, where do I want it? I want it as close as possible, like, ideally. That would be here, but that would also be... Yeah, so what if I can pull it two back? Here? And that would be that one. So... That would make this one the second location. Ah... No, it would not. Make that one the second location. That is kind of close. And then I'd have to have a loading station down here, which is going to be different, granted, but still. So from this one, I would have to have some jumps. I think this one is... Hmm. I kind of want to get it like just a tiny bit further up. Like what if I accept that it'll it's going to go in here. That means I can take it take this thing one up. Yes. That means I could take this one. Let's take all of this out. Scroll down. Here. Now, couldn't I do it like this then? It would slightly overlap, but then... Ah, uh, it's not really crisp, is it? That's actually not so bad, but I do think that this, no, this will, oops, will have to be down here as well. That will then be as close as I can make it. Yeah, I don't think that's, I don't think that's bad. And that may, makes these just a bit closer and then I can take from this side. One and jump. This is why I don't build it. Because otherwise, I'm going to burn through my resources too quickly or my batteries too quickly if I do that. And let's scroll down to this one here. Now, the next part is that I'm going to take all of this down. So as much as I'd like to have it here, then I have to get it somewhere else. Let's see, you are going to be like this. And then I need it, that's gonna be copper since copper is the closest. Uh, how close do I wanna make it? Mm, I don't know, maybe not just strain it too much. We can build it like this, I guess. And that will then be copper inbound. And then that will be copper inbound in here. All the way over and in. And then I will have to have so. Hmm. Yes, like that. Here. Yeah. And then actually not the last one because it will not jump over anything, but still. Nope. This part will just be jump up, jump up, jump up, and jump up. It's actually kind of important to remove this, otherwise it's just not going to work. And we then take all of these back. Yep. I, I like it. I'm going to start filling this out. Might have to sort of remove it by one tile or something. And then I'm going to get the same at exact thing like this. Let's try and see if we can just replicate it. Yep, we can. That's good. And then this part will just be some lines down here. 
undo and there technically this is not needed okay we're kind of happy about this and there okay so they come in go in here then the next part is the outbound i'm going to just make it as simple as possible they're going to be like this four five six seven eight and i'm going to have it really has to be like this ah So can you be one closer? Yes, you can. Again, why I build it with ghosts first. So get all that accuracy done. That's good. What I need now is completing this, completing this one. That's going to be easy. That's not a problem. What I need is an output location. I also need the names, but that's easier. I think this is actually a good output location. So let's try and take that. And just take it. Just take this part. Something like this. Oh, no. Uh, it has to. Ooh, there's another little kink here that might make, make all of it just weird. Oh, no. Oh, I did not get the, <laughs> the signal. Or... Okay, so it has to be here. Um, maybe? And then a train station? There. Definitely none of these. And definitely this one goes back. And we'll figure out something regarding this. I don't think that's going to be an issue. But we do need to have the stackers sorted. So let's uh, look at the stackers here. This stacker, I think I'd like to have like three trains here. And the same for this one. And now comes the, the biggest issue. That is, are you going to get into a position where you can't merge these in and out? Because when you have the change coming in here, then the next one can be up to that one and that one. But it can't be any other ones. Oh, that's so lucky. So lucky. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, wow. wow. I mean, well designed. Yes, yes, yes. And these are the locations I want. One, two, three for that. And oh. Huh. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. It fits. And this one should also have one, two, three then. Okay, now I feel super confident. This should also have one, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And they're of course not going to be out here because that's going to be just. And if this bends at that location, then obviously I'm also going to bend it here. And that will be one of them. And then it will just merge them in. This can still be a curve. This one cannot be a curve as far as I can see. So it's going to have to be another one, which is coming from that location. Yep. And then they will just be branching out from here. Yep, and this one is the one that goes straight in. Then we're gonna do the same on the other side. They will be, uh, are they gonna merge from the same location? It's gonna be not great on this one. Here. Yeah, see, this is not ideal. Look at that, that spacing here. And that should be one, two, I forgot. Yeah, so take all of this out. I have to build it now somewhere else. Head over that one. This is mainly for aesthetics, but you know, aesthetics are important. That's gonna be one, then two, and then three. Still not there. Good. And that means all of this has to be moved one down. Luckily, we have not committed very much to it. So it should be easy to 
uncommit. There. That one goes out. That one's out. It likes to just look better, even though, no matter what here. So, uh, but these have to go at this point. That's fine. I did suspect that would be the case. So we now are working on the stackers. Uh, hold on, there's a bit some. There's something weird here. Uh, these three go to that one. These three should. Oh, so it should go up then. All right, up, down, whatever, 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 whatever. There then. Okay, cool. This part then. That one. Nope. Up. Copy this part. That's easy. This one also easy. And I'm going to have to remember that it has to have. Huh. Yeah, it's going to be different. But still. Here. Okay, I like all of this. The only thing we're missing is the, is the refueling. But luckily. We can get the refueling down here. I am sure of it. There we go. And then we can just make a loop. Ah, oh, beautiful. That is just beautiful, isn't it? Just absolutely perfect. And let me just figure out where I want it. I want this one to be... No, that's too close. There. And that means this will be the place where it branches. Okay, then I think I'm gonna branch this one at the same time. Just, I think it'll look better like this. Again, aesthetics. That's working. I can take this part and put into the other ones. There and there, but not this. Okay, so now it, it seems like we have a bit of a fill in the blanks, but we do need a location for power here. Hmm. We do need that one. Should be easy enough to put in. It'll just be like that. Yep, that's done. And then we need some additional locations. I'm gonna power this so I can get a sense of where it's gonna be. If I build it right there, then it's going to cover everything up the northern one and as well. And then I'm just going to go drag it. How much can I drag it over? Um, I think that's fine. All we need is just some power poles. They need to be connected anyway. They should be connected anyway. So you can go there and you can go there. And then these three are connected. They're powered. This one is not powered though, because it doesn't have any material. So we can just put that one in. So that will be powered as well. Okay, what do we need now? What do we need? Well, obviously we need to build things and aside from this, not really anything. Uh, yeah, I need to just design how this one comes out in and out. That's super easy as well. This is going to be a fixed line, a fixed line and go over here. Next, next, next. How did I just not get this right? Ah, this one. There we go. Easy. And all the way up here for the loading, I'm going to design one. And then once the one is designed, the next one will just be a good old replication of it. So, oops, here. And then what are we going to do to build all this? Oh, our poor personal drones will be super strained from it. Or will they? Because well, how about summoning our builder trons that we designed in the last episode? That would be probably the most sane thing to do. So let's do that. Oops, how's that not working there? Also, we don't need, we don't have. Oh no! Oh no! I forgot that we needed some inputs here. Oh no! 
Ah, uh, man. Where are we going to get room to build our circuit things? Yeah. Hmm. We have a little bit of problem. Because I need to build a requester. And the requester is the stuff we have in here. That's the requester. And it's usually positioned really neatly right there below the ground. But could I build it up here as well? I suppose I could. I could actually build it easily right there. Okay. Uh, that one actually needs to be built. I'm going to take that out. It might actually be an advantage to have it up there. Can I switch that? Yeah, I can. And I'm going to build that. And I'm going to just build that. And get a connection. This one will not be a... Oh, you... you please don't get in here. Okay, you're not. This will be called... Iron Inbound. Yeah. Because it's going to be one of those Iron Inbounds. Yep. That was easy. And... This one will get the green signal from there. Good. So I can just take this part and copy it here. Except change this to a copper inbound. Yeah, that should, should work. 32 trains. Yep, 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 yep. And this one will now be a provider. Hmm. But that provider is, since it is quite big, then that will be like, and this is definitely going to be a different one. This will just be called Green Circuits. That's how I, I name them. Just want the simplest possible naming structure. There. Are they connected? Nope, they're not. So let's do that. From there to there. And you have an L. And this one comes in. Yes. So what I'm done, just done here. Uh, you not connected? Yeah, they are connected. You can see the light, line lights up. Right. Uh, fueling. Fueling, fueling, fueling. Fueling is actually good. Fueling is good here. So I'm just going to put the fueling in here and I'm going to put the fueling in here. Yep. Which will be handled by that. All right. Are we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. I'm going to send you back because I don't want you. You can't go back yet, but I can send my Buildertrons in here. That's going to be so glorious. And I can then switch this on. So let's see how that works. It's going to be glorious once it comes in. All right, here we are, us and the Buildertrons. I'm gonna switch on my RoboPorts. I am going to get the robots in here. Also, I just added some signals because I forgot here and here. That's a, a good practice. And we're gonna see how fast we can build this together with the robots. And that should now let the train go back. So Buildertrons just go in here and I'm gonna go in here. This is so glorious. And the best thing is, it should switch on by itself. Well, actually it shouldn't because it doesn't have the power yet, but we'll uh, we'll find a way to get that powered. There, everything here should be getting powered. And the Yeah, they're getting they're getting starting to be struggling with the charge, but that's why we have so many of them and also why we have so many of me. Oh well, okay, only me. But we just basically roam across all this area and it should be fine. I think I'll actually have one of these here just to allow it to open. You're going to go walk this way and then afterwards you're probably going to go walking up here and then back there again because I'm now being drained. I don't have any more belts left, but they are still good. They're still good. They still have plenty. Anything here missing? Okay, now there's just a few of these roaming and we can see the fuel train comes in automatically and... Set in some logistics spots, set in some fuel that should be... Oh, it's already been spread out. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was quick. And let's see, roaming. What are we missing? We're missing some entities there. We're missing some entities up here. And we're missing some power lines as well. So we'll just add a few power lines that makes it happy. There we go. Actually, I think it's probably better to have power lines between between there. Yeah, it, it looks better. Oops, also remember, they actually should be coming in now. This is lighting up with four trains coming in, four coming in, and this one is no. Oh, okay, hello. Hello. Oh, there's something missing down here. So get those trains here. Oh, look at the beauty of this. Look at this beauty. Now I think it's time for us to add another train. 
Look at them just coming in here. That is so damn good. Right, we need more trains. As we start looking at this coming in, we're gonna be checking if it works because, well, it's it's gotta work. It's beautiful, right? It's beautiful. Here it comes out, the first ones. And basically at this point, they're gonna be consuming full belts, but they will drop down to 32 out of the 45 on this belt and 34 out of the 45 on this belt. So it'll be easy to support all of what we need. And then we'll see, you can see here, the belts will be saturated as long as we can keep the trains coming in. But that's the thing, we cannot keep the trains coming in. Why can we not keep, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone forgot something, did they? Didn't they? They forgot that this is a thing. And why not just build it exactly the same place? So let's build it there, take all of that out. And hey, dudes, get back in here. Oops, uh, you're gonna be, Let's just check. Yep, it's exactly the same location. And that one and that one. Are we missing something? Nope, we're not missing anything. Cool. So you don't need to go in here anyway. You can go back and get some recharge. Except, why is this not working? Oops, oops. Probably important. And this one will now be filling up. Only when it gets to 64,000 will it be full. But as you can see now, full belts in, full belts out. Everything is happy. You can, I, it's really hard to not be, be happy about the design like this. That is so glorious. What we're gonna do though, is we are going to, we promised ourselves to get more of these. We have 11 stops. So we are gonna find one more. I'm gonna find this one. That is actually a problem. You should not be allowed to unload here. Why are you unloading? 72,000? How much do you have? 47,000. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, these ones are low. So there's a slight discrepancy on how much is being consumed here. That's a bit bad, isn't it? Yeah, and it's not gonna change. Ah, uh, it's, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it's a bit weird that it's requesting it. This is where it's supposed to be. This is what it's supposed to be. This one has some, oh, I know, of course I do. Of course I know. That's because this one used to be accepting the one four trains. And that means these boxes are way overfilled. I thought it would align itself and maybe it does over time, but it's gonna take a while. Okay, so now whew, I thought it was a mistake. Uh, anyway, we got this one and I needed four more trains. One, two, three, four, get them out of, get them out of here. There, and, and I'm gonna take the last train here. Remember to shift click, otherwise you don't get the train. There, and there. And the next one moves out, and we can wait until it clears the station, and build one more, and wait for the next one to clear the station. Looking good. And there. All right, so we have now enough going from the ore into these stations. And if I look at this one, there's only one state, one stop here. It's definitely not enough, but it's uh, not really my concern. This one has four and it should have like six, probably nine, because uh, it's one, two, three stops. And then I went three stations for each, three for each station. Likewise on this one here, I only have four and it should also be nine. So I can take this one. Uh, let's actually just do that. And if we have all of these built, then we can go one, two, three, four, five, send them off. And we're gonna wait for them to actually have the fuel. Otherwise it's gonna be a sad time at this point. I can send this one out there. I can send this one out. Yep, you're good. You go out and the next one go out and the next one. Yes, next one go out and you go out. Yeah, perfect. And then I can start pasting more trains for the copper part. Here, I know this is I, this is about train management, so it also is a super, super important part. This is not gonna cause more congestion in the train network because they will just be standing idle at locations when they're not needed. What I do need though, is make an, uh, an effort into getting this one inbound. So that's gonna be super easy just to do. The way, only thing we need to do is we need to delete all of this. It's gonna be the last thing we do. do. 
And this will, of course, kill, kill all of our green circuits, which is not really the best thing to kill. But, you know, it is what it is. And then we'll just kill all of that as well. Here. And then I need to go back and then we can design the train station coming in here afterwards. After a bit of nightmarish support, uh, cleanup, not support, but cleanup, we have actually cleared this out. So the thing is, like uh, a lot of the copper and iron we brought in was brought in just to create green circuits. Now we don't need that because we're going to get it inbound here. So uh, we are going to do this part. We're simply going to take this design and stamp it, stamp it down. Why not? What is what is not? Oh, that really useless thing. Um, and the most important thing about this is do not get the trains in here yet. This will be something. Oh, no, it something else. Don't don't get in here. Don't get in here. Now you can come in here. Woo. And it'll be some different things. This will be 144. Oh, 144. Uh, yeah, we call it 144. And this one is six. So that one, we're now going to get the greens inbound. These are coming in at on six lanes, they're actually going to come in now on eight lanes, and we're going to figure out a way to get those eight lanes to make sense here. Now I've done, obviously, a bit of preparations for it so that we don't have to do all of it at once here. Uh, let's take all of this and just look at it. So I have these four lanes were our previous green circuits. They're coming in here. They're going to be just fine as they were before. So there. But I'm going to need some more green circuits. More space for green, green circuits, obviously. And that will be here. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to copy this part so they can spam it down, spam it down, spam it down, spam it down. And hey, hey. All right, I can accept that. This used to be the, where the iron coming in for the green circuit was reserved for, and now it is reserved for something else. It is now reserved for another four lanes of greens. So they will now go up here. Happy, 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 and okay, not happy up here. They'll be going into the usual part here. That one. And then from that side, there will be a hell of a lot of uh, structure restructuring to make sure that, for example, these ones go into the green, the red circuits first. Now the question is, why is nothing coming in? Well, pff, silly question. Let's uh, let's assign one of these. We're going to assign two trains, no more than that. One train, it goes. It actually shouldn't start here. It should start with that one, going into full, and then going up here until empty. Cool. Let's get two of those. One and two. That's all it takes right now. Uh, three. Three? Two. Three, two. Uh, we only have one. Let's, let's put it like this. What else do I need? Well, I do need some copper trains. Remember by that from previously that we did not have enough copper trains. So let's spam those out while the other ones are working. We had copper trains here. That one. And how many did we have? We had... A total of four. That's not enough. So we, what we'd literally like to have is three, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's look at our beautiful, beautiful greens. There we go. We have tons of greens. While I've been cleaning up, we have made it all the way up to three hundred and fifty thousand. I would imagine three hundred fifty thousand greens. Yep. And they just keep producing here. And the great thing is we can just stamp down more of these if we like. I don't like it right now. I don't need it. And I will also just strain our beautiful copper and iron builds uh, unnecessarily. And that one, that one, that will now be all of the copper trains that we are going to need here. And that will help us with our supply. Funny how this one did not go out first. Weird. Oh, now it's going out. Cool. And we can replace it with other trains. And let's see if the greens are coming in correctly. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's take this train, follow it, and see how it goes. Oh, it's going to be exciting. That's going to be like the culmination. We've then... What we've then done is, if it works, we've now ma made... First of all, we upgraded our train network. Absolutely. 
then we have designed a really nice green circuit build and we have now replaced our green circuits in the base with this beautiful inbound thereby relieving some pressure on the base and thereby increasing also the throughput that we can come in you will see this one go in going up to the first and the last one the second there so we've now up to eight lanes of iron or eight lanes of green circuits coming into this base which is super super amazing and just what we need because all of it just ran out while we were doing it there we go that is going to be where we wrap up this episode i am super happy with the progress as you can see making one structure design every time and i try to fit it in to a an episode length and i will then do some other things around it that we will need to upgrade the base as well so I hope you're enjoying this series. If you do, you know where the like button is. It means a lot to me that uh, that I see that there is a continued interest in this kind of uh, mega base design. Of course, as usual, all of the blueprints are available. And I also remember that I'm going to make one episode for every one of my Templars of the Path. So it is... Um, it's going to continue for as long as there are Templars of the Path. That is the Patreon supporter level that uh, supports the support me and the work I do here. So that is sort of detecting how long the series is going to be. So you can thank the Patreon supporters for con for this to continue the series. I'll see you guys next time. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.